the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road has gotten to Ibejuleki. In fact, it has gotten to a place called Akodo in Ibejuleki. Now, prior to the realignment of the road from the original um, gazetted road to um, the new alignment, we thought at the point the road will get somewhere in Eleko, Ibejuleki, Lagos, Nigeria, there will be a realignment to the refinery road which is still under construction. But lo and behold, the refinery road is a different road. The coastal road is on another route. And as we speak, a bulk of the land in Akodo, Ibejuleki, Lagos, Nigeria are gazetted. And right in this part of Ibejuleki, we have so many estates, so many popular estates that are already been impacted. I had the opportunity to visit one of these estates uh, owned by a very big brother in the industry, a very um, good developer. And um, I had the opportunity visiting the estate to take some shots and see for myself what is happening. Immediately, I flew the drone up. I could see the coastal road just behind this fence. In fact, his estate fence has been brought down. So the road coming from Victoria Island has gotten to Akodo Ibejuleki. And this road is a massive one. Very, very big, very, very wide. The implication is that most estates, most lands, most buildings will be lost. The government has said they will be compensated, but by how much will this compensation come? I am Patrick Berelto. Welcome to this space where we discuss topical issues that affect real estate. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel, turn on your notification button so that you get updates like this every time we drop them. So if you've bought anything along this axis of Ibejuleki, Lagos, Nigeria, and you need um, clarity and clarification if your property will be impacted or not, then see this video till the end. But I must tell you, nobody is sure about anything at this point. Because the Minister of Works, uh, David Umayi, um, during the um, landmark saga, when he was questioned about what route exactly would the road take, he said nobody knows that um, they're doing it batch by batch. So when they get to a point, they look at it again and see what is feasible. And that was why at that time I told everybody, stop buying any property along that coastal road. Don't buy anything for now until the road passes through a particular point and we are sure that, okay, this is the road or this is the route the coastal road will be taking. That is when you can buy. But some persons did what they did, continued buying. So, um, well, it is what it is. We're going to see um, how it unfolds. So, if you've bought anything and you need clarification, see till the end because so many of these um, estates um, will be impacted. Now, we actually thought um, getting to Eleko in Ibejuleki, there was going to be a diversion. In fact, um, I represented someone for an allocation sometime um, early this year in Akodo, Ibejuleki, Lagos, Nigeria. And at the point of allocation, I, I knew that, okay, the coastal road was coming and I was still very, very unsure where it was going to take. So what I was told was the um, diversion, there was going to be a bridge in Eleko, the diversion, we get, we go back to the... Um, Refinery road, and this was, uh, and this were moneyless saying their theory. And okay, nobody was sure. We took their words, and um, right now, I'm very sure that property um, will be impacted because it is just in the same line with the coastal road. So what you'll be saying is some of those properties 
might lose some of those developers might lose all of the properties some might get their properties divided into two because if you have um a very long estate and um the road is cutting through the estate it simply means you have a land there you have a land there so that means you have to go back to your drawing board and redesign your estate you're going to spoil the plan so the so people's plans will be will be spoiled lands will be lost so uh, there will be compensation as we know but um to what extent and by how much will these developers be compensated because these are titled lands these are titled lands will definitely be compensated and it's the federal government um, um construction so uh, when it comes to compensation there's nothing to be scared of but we do not know how much the compensation how much of compensation they will get so if um if your land will be affected if it's an estate land um, once the developer is compensated you also should um, be compensated so we do not know if your compensation will come in the form of um, reallocating you to a different land or if the compensation will be what the government will be giving them but i doubt if whatever the government will pay will be favorable because the government will always go with um, fmv that's the fair market value so the government can just say um the worth of land in this area is five million era i know what land costs in the Bejuleki at this point in akodo um a sea of old land facing the express sold for about um 45 million naira inside gazetted land sold for about 30 million naira so um if the government is saying we'll pay um for example fmv of 5 million naira and um, you bought it 30 million naira, how do you do the plus and the minus so um for my friend who is a developer for my big brother who is a developer in this part i'm lucky for him he has um, an estate on the other part of the lake express road facing the express close to the airport so i had a discussion with him and he was okay um he was going to reallocate every client that has bought into this one we will reallocate them to the other one and that was a very great idea and he has reached out to the um to those who bought the property there and they all were happy because they will be getting reallocated to another valuable um, parts of um, Ipechuleki, though not on the refinery part, because most people who actually bought along the refinery road bought for commercial reasons. But now, uh, policies are policies. Government policies can affect your business. What you can only do as um, a business person is to um, see how you can mitigate the effect on your investors which um, most of them are doing so you will be reallocating to other estates on the lake express road which is also of high value and um, this time not just a gazetted property but a sea of all property on the lake express road so kudos to um, those investors who bought from developers like this developers that um only understand what it means to um, buy properties with your hard end money so uh, thank you very much um, uh, i will not call your name but thank you very much for doing that for um, those investors so what then happens to developers who do not have premium lands in other places will their investors lose their money because if we don't know what the government will pay we don't know what the uh, fair market price or value would be so for so many of these um, uh, investors they've bought these properties as high as 20 30 million now so where would the refund come from how is it going to happen we do not know that is by the side and that is for those who bought what do you call it by the land so what happens to those who have untitled properties in the Vejuleki and those whose, whose um, lands will be impacted by the coastal road. So, what have you bought in the Vejuleki five, seven years ago? Your lands, the, those estates might be impacted by the um, coastal road. So, at this point, where will the compensation come from and by how much will all of this compensation? happen other information came out that um the 
the uh, indigenous families because the lands there were gazetted to those families. And these families have protested and they are asking um, the state government to resettle them, to create a resettlement scheme for their lands that um, the coastal road will take. I think this is the best thing that, um, this is one interesting thing that would happen. Um, the families are saying the government must resettle them for those properties which the coastal road will take. Uh, if that happens, it simply means that those developers who bought from the family would get their lands in a new resettlement scheme. If that happens, we are still very, very unsure. But the problem I see in all of this is these are all moneyless. Will they will they fight for a property which they've sold before and then fight for these developers? Will they do that? And even if they do that, and once they get um, resettled, will they give the lands back to the developers that bought from them? Or will they require the developers to come and rebuy the land again? This is one problem I foresee. And um, if resettlement will happen, every developer who has bought properties in Bejuleki from these um, homonilers, from these um, traditional families, must follow up, follow up, follow up seriously so that you get your compensation because land matter can be very, very crazy. So the long and short is the coastal road is coming and nobody is sure of how and how much the impact is going to be but we know that less houses would um, be demolished because you don't get to see people building so many massive houses or too many houses in this part of um, Lagos at this point. You don't get to see too much of that. As we saw um, in um, Lekki and um, the landmark area. Flying the drone, I was able to trace where the land is coming from, from um, Eleko. You could see the Sandfield White Road behind the fence. Now. If the land, if the if the road should go straight, um, the Dangote refinery and the free trade zone is just at the front, still on this same line. So would there be a diversion so that um, the refinery and the free trade zone is not impacted, or will the road go straight into those places? Um, we do not know. And if this road should go straight, it simply means we have an unserious government because the government has spent its money developing all of this. Um, um, infrastructures in the Bejuleki and oh, it's, it's really crazy at this point what can we say so um, let us just um, stay glued to your screen for more information because on this on this particular matter I'll be bringing more updates subscribe to the channel like um, the video drop your comment to ask questions if you want to ask questions on estates that um, uh, you bought and know if they'll be impacted just drop your questions and um, if I have information on those I would let you know because i try as much as possible not to uh, mention anybody's property anybody's estate on um, on my videos so we don't hurt anybody's um, feelings as we do what we do so that is that about that so if if um the road will be diverted at some point to make sure some of these infrastructures are not affected that would be good but if this road should go in the direction it is going, so many infrastructures, especially around um, the free trade zone and the Dangote refinery might be affected. And beyond that, we have so many other estates, estates that were launched and sold five, seven years ago in the Bejuleki. Most of those estates will be affected. Now, we do not know, we are not sure, but this is a development coming out from Ipejuleki at this point. I'll also upload the video, the road tour I took of um, the level and the state of um, construction happening on the coastal road in another video because I was putting it here, I'll make this too bulky and too long, so I'll do it in another video so you can see, if you want to see how far the work has come you see for yourself so massive work kudos to the government good but they are affecting people's um personal um, investment so we'll see how this goes we just hope the government does what is right and um compensate those that will be affected i remember patrick your lagos realtor stay safe keep investing in real estate yeah
conduct your due diligence, ask questions, ask the right questions from the right guys, uh, employ the right people to uh, undertake your real estate and transactions for you so that um, some of these problems will not um, be problems at all. So that is that about that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you get information on um, our upcoming videos. I'll be doing a live video on YouTube very soon. Um, next two weeks, I'll give more information on that. On um, the developments in Ibadan, we can see that most people are buying properties in Ibadan, um, Nigeria, with um, little information. So we don't want people to repeat the same mistakes they made buying properties other places in Nigeria and Ibadan. So I'll be bringing a surveyor who uh, recently turned to a developer, um, a registered surveyor. Yes, he, he's, he has always been our surveyor. He has given us um, right information on hand. We've not, we've not um, faltered using his advice on lands and um, land matters in Lagos. So he is now a developer. So I'll be bringing him on, the, on this platform on YouTube Live so I can talk to us and tell us what we need to know about investing in Ibadan. I'm Patrick, your realtor. Until we see you again, stay safe, keep investing in less and peaceful.